So let's go over the gluteus maximus muscle. Really important structure when you're dealing with any lower extremity problems or upper extremity. This is the muscle that keeps you in an upright position. This is your primary hip extensor, external rotator, incredibly important. So what I'd like to do is actually get on this area. And there's a lot of different pin and stretch modalities we can use where we use our thumbs, our hands. What I find is even more effective is actually using our forearm down by the elbow. You okay there, me? Yeah. Okay. So, again, we're talking about the glute max coming across. We have superficial, deep fibers, all the way up to the iliac crest, over to the sacrum. Some of the fibers actually attach into the sacrotuberous ligament. As we come across here, they'll also fuse with the fibers of the tensor fascia lata and the IT band. Now, your IT band acts as a swing spring. It's one of the structures that's incredibly important for forward motion. So if we have a problem here, or if these muscles aren't engaging the way they should, we also want to consider that the load will actually be transferred down onto the hamstrings. So we get on here, let's use our forearm a little bit here. You okay there? Yep. Good. And across. Okay, so just going fiber orientation here. And I'm gonna hold it and I'm gonna put a little bit of torsion into there. Okay, so down. And then a little bit of torsion. You okay? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Down. The same time that I'm doing this, I may want to raise your leg up, lower it down. I want to bring you either more into flexion, depending upon how far we can take it. You doing okay there? Oh yeah. Okay. Down. I'm going to hold a position and release. Hold position and release. You okay? Yeah. Now, if I want to get a little bit closer towards the SI joint, I actually might bring the leg up here, drop this down, take your arm here, back over here, and I'll just get up near near the SI joint where it connects in. Are you okay? Oh hold goodness. it. And down. And again, hold it down. Now, of course, if it's within your scope of practice, I would also suggest manipulating the SI joint here. At the same time that we're manipulating the SI joint, we can also work at mobilizing if it isn't within your scope of practice. Your watch talking to you? Yep. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's bring this down here. And are you okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I can take this straight across here. You're feeling a bit, but if I bring it just a little <laughs> bit more, it's just the little nuances oh. in terms of pronation, taking it over. And then let's go back to the other one that we started with here, bring this down. Okay. Oh, that's... Right. Yeah, that's so, <laughs> a lot better now. So what started out as being an incredibly tight, restricted structure has actually loosened up quite a bit. You okay there? Oh yeah, that's much better. Good. Excellent. Really important structure to work on. Don't forget to work through different areas all the way over the sacrum. Address restrictions in the SI joint itself right up the iliac crest and right over the tensor fascia lata. Cannot tell you how important this is in the low back problems, lower extremity problems, and if just someone is sitting for a computer for a long time, really important to address this.